Welcome to Scanning TV on YouTube once again. Let's see the latest update coming in from the camp of Black Stars team. Yes, today it is going to be Ghana Black Stars versus Nigeria Super Eagles. And we cannot just wait to enjoy this game. Yesterday, Ghana we had one over Nigeria once again because Ghana Black Princesses they did us proud by winning on two goals to one in the final of the Africa Games 2023 women's games today ghana under 20 boys will also play let's talk about all this and more and in this video i'll focus on the black stars possible starting 11 that the coach otto ado is going to use against nigeria i know this is a friendly game but kenneth mary of nigeria has already said that it is not a friendly between ghana and nigeria it is not just a friendly let's talk about this i also bring you some updates from um you know diomonde who has been caught up to join the black stars team black stars final training Otto Ado speaking about the game and a whole lot. You know, this video is really packed because of the African Games 2023. I'm unable to bring you back to back updates on this channel, but I really understand that, um, you know, things will actually come good for us. And let's talk about the ones I have here. Before then, if you have joined us, take your time and like the video for me. After that, if you are new, subscribe to this channel. Put us on post notifications so that anytime we drop the latest update, you'll be the first person to get and also enjoy. Don't forget to leave a thought and comment in the comment box. Who is winning? What is the scoreline? Ghana, Nigeria today, 4 p.m. Well, we will talk about it, how we can watch it and everything in this video. Now, let me quickly begin from here. As I said, I cannot skip um, yesterday's game. It was between Ghana under 20 and Nigeria under 20 women's side in um, Cape Coast. That is where the final was held. Ghana, we went down first, but the women, they did so well. I'll say the young girls, um, you know, they equalized. And Mukarama Abdullah also scored on the 99th minute. Um, and it was really fantastic. Ghana won by two goals to one, and we've won gold. Coach, you see Basigi, he has been doing so well since he joined the Ghana Black Princesses. They are yet to even lose a game, and this coach is doing amazingly for himself. The young girls are also doing so well, but Ministry of Youth and Sports and Ghana Football Association, make sure you come together and pay these girls, because I understand um, for the World Cup qualification they are playing, and even these games that they are playing, they are per diems and everything is here to be paid make sure you pay it to the girls because they are doing so well for the nation and we must honor them or you must pay them what is due these girls so that is it also for them so ghana against nigeria yesterday we had one over them again and today at a cross sports stadium we still have another game in them ghana under 20 versus uganda under 20 this is going to be a tough tough game it's only 8 p.m. So if you're around a crowd, make sure you go there. Yesterday at Cape Coast, the support was massive. Ghanaians really showed up, and I was really excited for that particular game. So today at Craft Sports Stadium, 8 p.m., let's try and be there and support the Ghana under 20 boys to victory. Their coach, that is talking of Desmond of a young coach who began his career at Chelsea um, Academy. He moved on to Belgium, coached some few clubs, went to Portugal, and he came back to Ghana to um, become a high performance coach. And now he has actually risen to become the head coach of the under 20. He's doing so well. He says that today's game, we are going to have a party or a festival at a craft sports stadium. So let's all go there and make sure that this festival will come to pass. And Ghana under 20, we will lift this particular trophy to glorify our name so that the women's side will win it and the men's side under 20 will also win it and see how the Black Stars will go. I've been saying it. Ghana Black Stars is not a bad team. We need good coach and dedicated players and um, the right approach and a few things to be done by the Ghana football team. And Ghana, we will be progressing in the games that we'll be having. Also, if you want to follow the African games, um, you know, medal, table and everything, just visit to Scanning TV Plus and enjoy it over there as well. Let me come back to finally the Black Stars team and bring you some more updates and the games that we'll be playing. Now, let me begin from here. Yesterday, the team, they held their third training session which was the final one ahead of the game against Nigeria Super Eagles today. And we had 24 players. Per my confirmation, the new player who joined the squad is Mohamed Salisu. Yes, he was here to join together with some other players. But Salisu, he is in the Black Star squad. And that is a good one for me because he's one of the best defenders that we have. Even though the Afcon, he didn't do so well. But I think going forward, his qualities it can never be taken away from him. And he will return and do so well for the Black Stars team. Mohamed Diomondi is one player who was born in Ivory Coast. He grew up in there, but he started his football career in Ghana here. He's stayed in Ghana for over seven years at Right to Dream Academy before he was promoted to FC Northern Then now he plays for Rangers. 
in um, you know, Scotland. The player he was invited by Otto Addo to join the Black Stars team. And according to him, in a statement yesterday, he says he acknowledged the fact that Ghana we are interested in him, but there are also some conversations going on. So he has actually confirmed that he's now speaking with the coaches or the handlers of the national team to see, and he will need some time to make his final decision to play for Ivory Coast or to play for Ghana, and that's the situation we have with Mohamed Diomonde. That is why new players have been invited to replace such players in the Black Stars team. Today, Ghana versus Nigeria at the Grand, they start Marrakesh. Grand, they start Marrakesh. Exactly 4 p.m. 4 p.m. That is when the game will be played, and you can watch it live on Ghana Football app. This is the communication by the Ghana Football Association. They are saying they are going to show it on the Ghana Football app, and also, um, you know, that is where they are going to show the game. So you can go to Google Play Store or App Store and you download the app for yourself. I also do want to leave the links in the comment box. This app has not been working for me. I don't know if it has been working for you. The Ghana Football app has not been working. Why are they not going to show it on the Ghana Football Association on YouTube platform or Facebook? That would have been easy for everyone to access because the app, even if you want to sign up, it is not opening for you, so I don't know. But they said they are going to stream it over there. And I'm also hearing rumors that Ghana Television, that's GTV, they are also going to show it. So let's wait and see. But per the Ghana Football Association, we can watch it on the Ghana Football app. And that is it also in there. Now, coming into the game, yes, Coach Otto Ado has spoken yesterday in the pre-match conference. He says that he knows um, that it is going to be difficult against Nigeria. But we know how to play against them. You know, he has played against Nigeria twice when he took over ahead of the World Cup 2022. We drew in Ghana here goalless. We went to Moshe Dabila Sports Stadium in um, Nigeria where the game ended 1-0. And Ghana, we qualified with that away goal rule. And according to him, these are his words. We know what we can do. Um, we know, And we know how to play against Nigeria. Even though they went to the final of the AFCON, they showed in some matches that they are vulnerable, so anything can happen. So according to him, even though they went to the final, placed second, but Nigerian team showed that they are vulnerable, and he's going to use all those vulnerabilities to make sure that we win against Nigeria. Defender for Nigeria, that's Kenneth Tomeru, also said that um, Nigeria and Ghana is not just a friendly match. It is above or it is beyond friendly match. So he's looking forward and he's preparing for this particular game. And Nigeria, he's looking forward that they are going to defeat Ghana today. So... Coming into this game, going into the details, let me talk about my possible starting 11. Let me quickly begin from the goalkeeping aspect. I know um, Wallacott is there at his game and Frederick Asari. Um, David Akologo is here to honor the call up, and per my checks, he is still with the Bolivian national team. So David Akologo is one goalkeeper who has invited, but he is here to accept the call up. So we have David, um, you know, one, Frederick Asari. To Wallacott and Atizgi, and I'm going to go in with Joseph Luke Wallacott. The reason being that we know Atizgi already, he has actually kept for us in the World Cup, and we know what Atizgi can actually bring on board. But Wallacott was also once um, number one for the Black Stars team, he actually faced Nigeria and did so well. And after that, he is not getting playing minutes due to injuries and a whole lot of issues. So I think Wallacott, this is the time to try him in the goal post for the Ghana team against the Super Eagles of Nigeria today at the start Grand de Marrakesh. So I will start with Joseph Wolokot in post. Otto Ado is one coach who like going in with the 4-2-3-1 kind of formation. The first game Ghana we played against Nigeria in Ghana here. Um, his first game, he started with a 4-3-3. The game ended goalless. He went to Moshu Dabula and started with 4-2-3-1. And I think after that, he actually settled on that. Most of the matches he played was 4-2-3-1 that he used. Um, with the exception of a few against um, that is South Korea and some few matches that he changed things. So I think he'll go in with the 4 2 3 1 in this game against the Super Eagles of Nigeria. And with my back four, I'll start with one at the right back, Ali Seidu. Ali Seidu will be my right back in this game. Um, the reason being that Ali has not had a lot of starts in recent times for the Black Stars team. And I think he needs to really improve and we need to watch him again. Ali very good defensively. But sometimes, offensively, he doesn't add much. If you watch him as Stad Rene, his new club he has joined, sometimes he plays as a right back, other times too as a left back or as a center back. So I think Alidu has a lot of qualities. And Otto Adu used him around his time as a right back. And he was also flourishing. We saw the game against um, Portugal. He did so well. He was solid against Ronaldo. And that is it also on Alidu. So I'm expecting him to start as a right back today 
for the Black Stars team. With my left back, I'll go in with Tarek Nilamte. Tarek Nilamte, yes, he has also played at Otoado before as a right back usually. But I think Tarek, if you watch him as Brighton Hope Albion, he has been playing and flourishing as a left back as well. And in the absence of Gideon Mensah, whom I'm here to spot him at the Black Stars camp at the moment, I think Tarek Lamte can actually fit in. Or even if Gideon is able to be around around this particular time, I think we can still try Tarek as a left back and see what he can also do. Very versatile player, add up a lot offensively and defensively. He also does well to track back. So I'll play Ali Dissida as a right back and Tarek Nilamte as a left back. With the two centre back pair, I'll go in with one Kasim Nuhu. Kasim Nuhu, yes, um, he plays with um, Hoffiam in the um, German Bundesliga, but his playing minutes has been on and off. But I think um, this time around, we can actually try him. The reason, or another reason being that um, Mohamed Salisu didn't really report in camp early. Yesterday was when he had his first training session with the team, and I don't know if the coach would like to go in with him. But I think Kasim Nuhu, since he has been around with the team for a while, I think the coach will start him and let's see what he can also do. Our partner, um, him, Rick, Nathaniel AJ. Nathaniel AJ is also a center back who plays for Lorraine at the moment. He began the season with um, Hamabi in Sweden. He was doing so well. I was always saying that this boy needs to be invited to the Black Stars. Team. And finally, he's earned his spot in the current Black Star squad. And I think the coach might actually give him a start today against the Nigeria Super Eagles team. So I'm going in with Kapsim Nuhu and, um, you know, Nathaniel AJ. I know other players are there. Jerome Opoku is also doing well. I think he can also start as a left centre-back uh, or maybe add any other player to him. And let's see how things will go. Now, in my midfield, let me talk about the three at, at once. First of all, I will start with Salis Abdul Samek. I think he is going to be in a midfield for Ghana. We saw him under Otto Ado, where he did quite good for the Black Stars team. And I think... I will start with Salis Abdul Samet in this team against the Nigeria Super Eagles. We also have um, the next player, Francis Abu. Yes, he plays with Cecil Broach in Belgium. And I think Francis Abu is one name that, if you have been following the Canadian players abroad, yes, he has also been doing so well for himself. He's also a product of S. Nordland. Then he actually moved to join Cecil Broach and he's also playing in that particular league for a while now. Francis Abu is also very good, very good defensively, and he can also add up. Uh, in attacking phase if he's also caught upon and i'm going to start with francis abu alongside salis abdul Samet. now in the absence of mohammed kudus i'm going to start with forcing amankwa yes forcing amankwa he's also very good if you have watched this player at alzwis albi sasbeck he also started from west africa football academy in ghana he moved to left friend in austria and eventually he is playing for RB Salzburg. Very good offensively. He can add goals if he's caught upon. And he also provides a lot of assists. This season, he has already provided two assists and scored three goals for himself. Let me go to the right wing position. Yes, I have Fatal Isahaku Abdo. I'm going to start him as a right winger in this particular game against the Nigeria Super Eagles. Yes, Fatal Isahaku Abdo is in some good form. And I think we don't have to limit him at the moment. We have to give him the opportunity to also see what he can do. We have the likes of Jordan Ayu, who has been in the team, Osma Bukari and others who might also, uh, who can actually start in that position. But I think um, Fatal Abdul Isahaku should be used as a right winger in this game. And let's see what he can actually do for the Black Stars team against Nigeria. Super Eagles. Now, with the left um, wing position, I'm going to go in with NS Nuama Apia. So, we are going to have the young lads in this team. In fact, I have to call this Black Stars team the new Black Stars because um, the young boys are a lot. So there are many in the team and I think going forward, um, we have to see a lot of promising um, play from them and um, a very good play against Nigeria regardless of the result that we get in this particular game. So, I'll start with NS Nuama as a left winger in this game against the Nigeria super eagles side now leading the line i'll go in with antoine salom semenyo basically i think he is the out and out striker we have and he's not even playing as the striker or the out and out striker for his side afc bonnemouth if you go to bonnemouth he operates from the right wing position and that is a situation we have at hand in the black stars team inyak williams playing from the right wing position for Bilbao, and semenyo is also operating from the right right wing position so we need a goal poacher a striker who can stay in the opponent box for us and that is the problem we have a little at the moment but i hope coach otto Ado and his team john pinto joseph lauman and the rest will also be working around the clock to make sure we get a good striker 
going forward for the blast stars. But I think at the moment, I'll go in with Antoine Salom Semenyo to lead the lines for the Black Stars team. So my starting 11, possible one, goalkeeper, Joseph Luke Wolokot, right back, Ali Risedu, left back, Tarek Nilamte, two centre-back pair, Kasim Nohu and Natsane Ejei, then in the midfield, Francis Abu, Salis Abdul Samet and Forsen Amankwa, right wing position, I'll go in for Abdul Fatai Sahaku, left wing position, Enes Noama Pia, and centre-forward is going to be Antoine Selom Semenyo. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box. Do you agree with me? If you don't too, let me know your thoughts in the comment box. Osman and uh, Bukari and all the other players. Andrea, you and the likes can also come in and do a lot for the Black Stars team. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, put on the bell for more updates on this channel. This is Kenny TV and of course, we shall meet later.